So Sam's just called me in. Um, I've got a water leak in the kitchen, so I'll be back soon. <laughs> well, hopefully that's the plumbing issue took care of. It was just a compression joint, a little bit of PTF tape, tightened it up, and hopefully it was okay. But yeah, it came from underneath the, the fridge and it flooded the floor. Right, the next test I've got before I can get started today. So we're gradually losing internet signal. Um, I think what it is, I've got the Starlink set up and uh, it does rotate and move about and I've got a big tree out the back which I thought was the issue but looking on the on the mobile app it looks like it sort of spun round and now the corner of the house is causing the issue so I'm just going to go and set that up and I promise I'll get back to start this video soon. So this is the dish and now it's not receiving optimal signal from all those satellites up above. I initially thought it was this tree here. But looking at the scan on the mobile app, that doesn't seem to be the major culprit here. What it is, it's the side of the house. So it's just catching on the side there. So I'm going to have to manoeuvre the dish about and see if we can get a better reception. So I've just scanned the sky with the app and it tells you where all the satellites are. My initial concern was this tree here, but when I look on here, where we can see this very clearly, it shows it's that one there. Hmm, and that's not my tree, so I can't go chopping that one off at the top. What may have just happened, because I heard the motor on this moving, I think it's redirected itself away from the edge of the house, so the edge of the house isn't the problem now. Not as bad as it was the signal, but now I think it's the tree in the distance. Well I've just run a speed test and it's device to router 199mbps and router to internet 179 so no expert but that on the graph looks pretty good. Okay, now my initial thoughts for today's video was going to be to put the Velux, the, the roof window in, but because I'm a little bit delayed and I don't think the weather's going to be on my side later, it's forecast rain, so I'm not going to open that up, but I'm going to turn my attentions to still the roof on the other side, continuing with the repairs where the purlins go into the wall. So yeah, just the same procedure that I've done here where the purlins go in, doubled up on top of the old ones and then blocked up and rendered around so make it nice and sound but just over the other side so just going to concentrate on this area piggyback with the new purlin on top and work on this area and the same's got to be done up above and down below and then this area down here as well needs quite a bit of work so get some more bricks, get some timber and get this side reinforced and uh, yeah a lot stronger than what it is now. To remove all these old shoes, they call them. Ain't gonna put up much of a fight. I'm gonna take these off. These just hold the rafters to the purling. Take a bit of stonework out there, have a bit of timber to adjust that end, get some measurements, and we'll get this one in. So, get one of them 
now is in a moment. Remember never to run your hands across the timbers, always your hammer. stone out so I can get me purling sort of running into there but it's so fragile this area if I take that out I might lose a lot of this so I don't want to do that before I put the new purling in I'm going to get up into there knock up some lime mortar and get that all secured and then my new purling to go in here and then I can work around it Work now, all I've got to do is put the purling in and then build up around it at that end. has got to come out, the one I didn't want to take out because there's a slight obviously deflection bow in the old purling it just won't allow me to get this new one you know scissored on top nicely so yeah I feel like I'm gonna to have to take that out I don't want to take the timber out again and cut any more off of it because I can always make up the stone after a bit harder to make up the wood once you've cut it hopefully I can split the stone Careful, this is going to turn out to be a major wall rebuild. Ah. Always tell the job gets harder, jacket comes off. <laughs> right, don't worry, t shirt staying on. It doesn't even matter if it doesn't get right up as long as I can. Put some packers and bolt it through. It's nearly there. I think I might just split that down there. The majority of the weight is held for that one on there. If I split that down there, I think I might just get it. Let's try again. Yes, you should be wearing gloves and ear defenders. I 
would have thought I would have been chiseling stones out. I thought they would have fallen out of here, which they did. Oh, that's brilliant. That's better than I thought. I make all this up with some rocks and some lime mortar. That's brilliant. It's gone in a treat. Right the way. Down into there. Just going to get some clamps on there now. Tighten it right up. Put some temporary fixings in there until I get some threaded rod and then we'll bolt them together and then torque it right up. I just want to make sure it's touching nice and tight down this end before I do all the mortar because once I put the threaded rod in, tighten it up, it could crack around the mortar which I don't want. Not after all that effort. So let's get some clamps on. That's certainly a nice feeling to get that in. Right, now onto this area here. So there's a gap underneath here, which I've got to fill up. And obviously this gap here, you know, before I lose any more of this stonework. So the bun here, that's perfect. I'll get some mortar in there, get this wetted down, get that in. And that's packed in underneath there, then I can start to build up in this area. filling and we're a few bricks away from getting it done. Once I do the roof repair from the outside, strip off all the tiles and then I can infill all this area from the top. So that was the oldest thing about this job is the access. It was very tricky.
Got one more to go on the top. I'm going to leave that one in to tie, otherwise I'm going to lose all this. And simply once it starts to go off, I'll just strike the joints. Too wet at the moment. So it's all going to be rendered over, but this makes for a, a secure wall. Okay, so that is all the brickwork done. Just gonna let that set and strike it with this tool here along the joints. Like I say, not for anything, you know, aesthetic, but just like strengthen the joint. Okay, all right, I've got a little bit of mix knocked up there still. I'll work around this area, get this nice and secure. Yeah, job well done. Well, what do you think? Nice and secure now. New timber in, all bolted up. Yep, that's all setting nicely. A little bit of that at the end of it, and uh, yeah. There's Jess. There's Pixie. There's the other two. And he's a bit more camouflaged. I dare say Mummy Cat is laying down somewhere. Oh, there he is. Eyes.